Grand Rising Guys, Goddesses, Kings, Queens, what's going on, YouTubers? I'm about to bring you the word of the day for March 3rd, 2021. If anybody want to know, today is a good day. March is the third month. This is the third day. And the end is the 21, which breaks down to three. So today is three, three, three. Spirit is always saying that everybody wants to find the right person but everybody don't want to be the right person. Spirit is saying y'all need to really dig and sign yourself. Everybody wants the perfect person, but we're not perfect. In order to get the person that you desire, you have to be that also. So Spirit is saying find it in yourself and you will find it in others. Let's give them something to talk about. Let's see what the fuck is going on, YouTubers. Talk to me, spirit. What messages do you have for today? The 333 day to day. Come on, spirit. Let's give them something to fucking talk about. Spirit is saying some of y'all are too nice. You got to understand that some of y'all need to be cold-hearted, that cold-blooded bitch. Because you know what? They didn't like you in the first place. They fuck with you with your nice, so ain't no sense of fucking with them back. You know how your mother said, did you hit them back? Did you hit them back? Spirit is saying, and y'all ancestors said, all y'all combined together need to fuck them up. Because they tired of them fucking with you. They didn't like you in the first place. They taking your kindness for weakness, so you need to tell them that you that bitch. That you tired of them fucking with you. And you just know that you have a powerful team that's going to back you up. You got a fucking powerful team. Your ancestors really getting fucking tired of these spiritual bullies. Because all y'all are fucking spiritual bullies. And y'all just don't know. Y'all about to get the short end of the stick. Because they are getting tired of you fucking with their people. They really are. Because y'all have nothing else to do. But fuck with people. And you know what? You're going to fuck with the wrong person and get fucked. The earth spirit, the earth card off. This is talking about my earth people. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or is, is Virgo? I don't know. They want you to get down into nitty and gritty because y'all about to get... A whole download of wisdom and knowledge. Y'all about to be a walking uh, encyclopedia. Y'all need to, like I said, if you're in a, a cold area where you live at, get some potting soil, put it in a bowl big enough for your feet, add some water to it, and soak in there, hold some crystals, and meditate. Y'all really need to start getting grounding. This is how y'all going to heal. This is how they're going to heal your auras and your chakras. All my people, that's earth. Or if you have earth in your chart, do it. They really want you to connect with Mother Gaia because when things in the spring, things are starting to grow. So they want to, those seeds that you planted that is good, they want you to connect to the earth so they can grow in you, so they can flourish. So while you planted all that seeds of love, of self-worth, self-respect, um, self-worth, self-love, self-respect, you planted that seeds, you need to put it in soil so it can grow, so you can meet your demigod and demigods, so you can walk in your blessings. Everything that you manifest, like you want your car, you want to move, you want this and this. You planted those seeds inside you. Now you need to ground so they can grow, so you can get it this spring. A lot of y'all are fucking queens y'all need and kings. Y'all need to put back on your crown. Stop walking, looking with your eye. Uh, eyes down you already know what your feet look like spirit is saying love and prosperity take it back a lot of y'all have the spirit of nefertiti around you nefertiti was a powerful powerful pharaoh pharaoh queen she was bold she was fierce leader you know what i'm saying she didn't let no one disrespect her and spirit is saying y'all need to stop letting people disrespect y'all because y'all scared of the outcome Fuck it. They fucking with you now and you ain't doing shit. You might as well retaliate back. What I'm hearing, did you hit back? You Spirit is saying you have your your their permission to retaliate back. Because you know what? When you and your team together, y'all powerful. And can't nobody fuck with y'all. Spirit is really saying y'all need to start fighting back. Because people are fucking walking over you. And that's not cool. That's not cool at all. 
What other messages do you have? Can I get two more cards? Well, they gave three. Bottom of the deck, it says, Castle, it is time for healing, not war. You going through whatever you went through, you left it in February. Like I said yesterday, you getting this good bill. They molding you back up. But they also saying you're going to have to protest and protect. So if I come up there and hit you, you're going to say, oh, I can't. No, motherfucker, you better hit me back. So Spirit is saying you have permission to retaliate for those that's sending you shit because they started it. So Spirit is saying it's time for you to send that shit back. And you also got triple power behind you because your team is going to help you. You have your ancients. You have your ancestors. You have your spiritual ancestors. And you know what? Ascending masters will come down and fight with you too. Also, God got you. Like I said, what God blesses can't no man curse. Because some of these people are really doing stupid shit to you for no apparent reason. Because they do not know the difference between ego and spirit. Because spirit guys are not going to tell you to go send something to somebody. Or your ancestors are not going to tell you go fuck up somebody. And go hit somebody when they didn't do shit to you. A lot of people are evil. They power hungry. It's just like money. Money changes people. It's not the money. Sometimes spirituality changes people. They find something that, oh, they can do root work. They can do this. So they become a spiritual bully. Spirit is saying, do not let no one spiritual bully you. The power was in you. Some of these people, you're more powerful than them. All you had to sit down and talk to your team and y'all to come up with a plan and y'all can wipe them the fuck out. You have to decapitate them. Clover. Release your guilt because you're not doing nothing wrong. They started this war, so they want you to defend yourself. Thorns, weave together the crown you deserve. You are a queen. You are a king. Take back your power that they taken from you. Take back your energy that they taken from you. Stop letting them walk over you. Stop letting them use your kindness for weakness. Stop giving free readings to people if they're not returning it back to you. If you know somebody that's a reader and you're a reader, that's a spiritual even exchange. If they want to give you $5, $10 love offering, that's an even exchange. Stop doing it because you know what? You give me your pearls to swine. Pretty soon they're going to constantly want it, want it, want it. And then eventually when your team said cut them off, they're going to get mad. And then that's when they want to start sending shit with you, to you because they think, oh, you think you better than that and all this. What the fuck in this? They get bullied. They get cocky because they feel like you obligated. Fuck that shit. You're not obligated. Spirit is saying start speaking up now spaceship don't be afraid to sing some of y'all are connected to y'all mirror people which means y'all were mermaid y'all was connected to atlantis atlantis was a city underground so it's mirror people spirit is saying y'all sing in the shower y'all sing spirit is saying sometimes when you contact angels you need to sing to them yes y'all can contact angels I, I i'm still debating when my team want me to teach y'all how to contact angels. Angels will fuck people up for you. Angels will do things for you. But it's a certain way that you have to channel angels. Angels like to be sing, sung to. They like to sing. If you notice, they always play an instrument. Why do you think Lucifer, he was the most beautiful angel. And he has pipes that just blow, blew out beautiful music. Angels are connected to music. It depends on my ancestors and my spirit team. They want me to teach upon it because I'm telling you, angels are some powerful motherfuckers. But see, people don't want to fuck with the light because they think angels are punks. Angels are not punks. Angels will fuck up the dark side. No one, that's why I tell people, you got to have 50 light, 50 dark. But no, a lot of people want to be spiritual bullies and cater to the dark. But you know what? Y'all going to fucking lose. Y'all going to wind up in, ending because you know what? They turned on God and they would turn on you. That's all I got to say. Let's see what else. What other messages do spirit, ancestor, spirits, guides? What else do y'all want to call upon my ancestors? Talk to me. Someone's going to go through a serious transformation. Y'all going to go through an ascension. This ascension, you're going to be like, oh, my God, do I have COVID? Oh, my God, am I catching the flu? Because you're going to have every symptom. It's because you're going to a different dimension. Your body's not used to that energy. So 
it's just like when you get sick here. You got a foreign virus antibody and your body's building up the immune to fight it off. So when you go through a spiritual flu, it's the same way. Your body's not used to that energy. Same way you experience growth pains, you experience spirit growth pains. A time... Let me put my glasses on. A time of a natural transition and transformation. Spring is coming. Y'all about to go through y'all remaking y'all transformation. A lot of y'all going to be getting married. A lot of y'all going to be getting married to your spiritual team, the Holy Trinity, becoming one with the divine, becoming one with your higher self. And some of y'all going to be marrying y'all demigod and demigoddess. Marriage, you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Because, like I said, your team want to give you that agape love. So, some of y'all are going to be devoted into your spiritual team because you're saying, you know what? I need to heal before I find him or her. So, by you doing that, you become one, that holy trinity. You're marrying into your spirituality. And then that's going to lead you to the human marriage. You have the cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Like I said, y'all going through that powerful transformation. Once again, you have the death. And then you have the coffin. Natural endings abound. Take care with your health. Also, some of y'all are noticing that certain foods that y'all used to like, y'all no longer like anymore. Y'all noticing rashes because y'all getting higher. Y'all itching real like it because you're not used to that energy. Spirit is saying continue to be patient, slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. Your mind is powerful. You get mentally attacked spiritually attacked through your mind your mind is what is like if you doubt yourself it's because that's a psychic attack that's a spiritual attack never doubt yourself always say positive affirmation fire let go emotion uphill and embrace the renewal of the present one i'm telling you y'all about to go through a powerful transformation a lot of y'all about to walk in y'all power Y'all can't fear the unknown. At the bottom of the decks, you have the phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis because you're getting remolded. You're getting remade. You're going through a powerful transformation. Powerful transformation. All right. Talk to me, spirit. Can I get one more card? Come on, ancestors. Ascended masters, what messages do you have for them? One more card, spirit. They gave two more. Spirit has also said some of y'all are not drinking enough water because y'all don't like the taste in it. Spirit says, start putting men in it, strawberries, pineapples, blueberries, make fruit water. Spirit is saying, y'all got to start drinking water. Y'all have to, your body is made of majority of water. You have to release those toxins. The first card now, you got the Knight of Pentacles. You're going to meet somebody that's very romantic, flirtatious, falling in love, being sweet, swept off your feet, a sudden love affair. Some of y'all have a lack of balance in your relationship, situations, or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art and poetry. Some of y'all need to rekindle that fire. Y'all let the fire blow out because, you know, you got snow down there. You think you're old. You know, you have it. Uh-uh. For my men, y'all really need to, if y'all taking blood pressure medicine, that will give you erectile dysfunction. It will take away your self-drive. It will not make your erection stay long. So if I was you, I would get some Kilimanjaro and start taking herbs, start drinking beet juice, celery juice, uh, garlic supplements. That's going to help with your blood pressure. Also, ladies, that would take away your sex drive too. Spirit is saying a lot of y'all going to be because your sexual energy is healing and it's getting stronger, y'all going to start attracting these little players. Is that you, players, on the Himalayas? Because all they want is a booty call. They don't want a long-term relationship. And some of y'all are desiring a long-term relationship. And Spirit is saying y'all going to meet a lot of booty calls because this is spring. This is tax season and stuff like that. Start using your intuition and start asking your ancestors, your spirit guides, is this person for real? And they will tell you, pay attention to your hot and cold the way you feel they would tell you you have the three of um 
coins, pinnacles. Do what you love. Like I said, some of y'all are, y'all went to school, y'all sitting on bachelor's degrees, uh, all type of degrees, and you just did it because you lost the passion, because you let those naysayers get in your head. Spirit is saying, start doing what you love. If you want your own business, take it out there. Yeah, it's going to start off slow, but eventually you have to advertise yourself. You have to sell it. If you don't believe in it, they're not going to believe in it. You have to be your own cheerleader. You have to be your own magic you are the main ingredient to your magic recognition some of y'all going to be getting recognition for your highest quality of work especially creative endeavors i don't know if people are painting and you don't know if people are going to like your art let them judge it okay let them see it put your art out there advertise it on instagram tiktok uh facebook start seeing it because sometimes everybody don't have that artist's eye everyone doesn't see that everyone didn't like picasso work Everybody didn't like Michelangelo work. You know, there's people that take a bucket of paint and throw it on a canvas. And you have people like, wow, everybody's vision is different. If that's what you do, you do. Some of y'all make sculptures. Spirit is saying, don't be afraid. Some of y'all can make fucking statues. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all can make these. Do what you love. People will buy it. Make statues of, of different things. Of how you see Yimiya as, or how you see Oshun, or Shango, or Ogun, you know, Oba. Everybody wants to forget about Oba. Oba is Shango and Ogun's wife. You know, she's a Orisha that no one speaks about. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of Orishas that, that are forgotten that's in your court. And people just don't talk about it because everybody want to be with Oshun. Everybody want to be with Yimiya. Everybody want to be with Oya. But there's some that's not even your court. Some of them are not even in your court. And because it's a popular Orisha, everybody wants them. They have to choose you. I mean, you can work with them, but for them to crown your head, they have to you choose you. Somebody is going to be, like I said, doing a profession is reading cards because y'all read them intuitively. Y'all going to have your own botanica or bodega, whatever you want to call it. You have the page of pentacles. That's a lot of money. You have the nine of coins, nine of pentacles, three of pentacles, and the page of pentacles. Page of pentacles is a message. Someone, when you go to the water, I'm here in Hawaii, whoever want to go to Hawaii, you want to see dolphins. Spirit of sense, when you go to connect to the water, sing or hum, you're going to call forth your people, the mere people. Some of y'all are very sensitive overhearted and y'all vulnerable that's why i said y'all sexual energy is very high y'all gonna be attracting a lot of young dumb people that just want the booty call all they want to do is fuck they don't want no relationship and of course they're not going to tell you like i don't want nothing serious no they're not going to tell you that because they're only going to tell you what you want to hear because you refuse to heal continually so start asking your ancestors and your spirit guides to help you with that some of y'all are open-hearted like i said y'all vulnerable right now y'all inexperienced y'all want love so bad but you need love to find you this is a test to see if you're going to pass it some of y'all going to get are going to be moody y'all going to get a moody messages regarding the relationship I'm sorry I hurt you. You like if you hurt me, you wouldn't have, if you love me, you wouldn't have hurt me. Love do not hurt. A lot of y'all gonna have a lot of people that ghost you come back into your life. All they want is sex from you. All they want is to uh take from you again because the person that they with is not going for that bullshit and they know exactly what to say. They know your weak spot. Pay attention to that. Some of y'all are going to get new emotional experience, a romantic encounter, social invitation, or events, heightened psychic abilities. That's what I'm saying. March, all my water babies, y'all heightening up. And if you got water in your cup, like Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you also are going to have your psychiness heightened up. Next to that, you have the star card. Spirit is saying to have faith. The future is bright. You got to get a chance to uh, grow. That's why everything that you planted in you, that's why I say y'all need to get some. If you can't put your feet in dirt, then get some potting soil and ground that way and use your crystals. Dreams are starting to come true. Positive changes that bring an, um, bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. You're finally here. You're getting that balance. You got to have 50% light and 50% dark. When the cloud is, um, when the sky is dark, that's how you can see the skies. When the sky is fully dark and the moon is out, you can see the full moon. You can see everything. That's why I say you got to have that balance. You can't have cold without hot. 
uh, yes without no, uh, good without bad, yin and a yang. You have to have that balance. Some of y'all are letting the dark consume y'all. And I'm telling you, y'all getting fucked over with a lot of trickster spirits. And also, y'all need to learn the difference between um, spirit and ego. Because ego is getting a lot of people fucked up. Can I get clarification of this Knight of Pentacles spirit? What do they need to know? Someone is really good with art, like making stuff like out of pottery, that clay, and y'all making coasters, y'all making statues, y'all making a lot of stuff. Spirit saying, y'all better start doing that shit. That's money right there. Under the Knight of Pentacles, you have a two of swords. Decision. Love is coming in. Sometimes it can be the wrong type of love. So you really have to start getting close to your ancestors and your spirit guides. And they will give you a sign. Pay attention to the hot and cold. Start asking them who's your friends, who's your foes, who's for you, who's against you. And they will show you. But you have to learn the difference between ego and spirit. Because a lot of y'all trickster spirits are getting people a lot fucked up. Under the three of pentacles, it's the fool. Take that, that leap of faith. Y'all starting your own business. Ones, like I said, they can make these. Um, those can make your version of what Yimmy y'all look like, Oshun look like. Y'all have that. Y'all can make sculptures, statues, spirits, saying, do the damn things. Money, money, money. I'm telling you, that's your hustle right there. I'm telling you, people are going crazy over it. If you, if you can draw, draw a picture of the Orishas, how you feel they should look. And people that's for you will buy it. Start listening to them. They're giving you money ideas. Can I get clarification of the page of Pinnacle Spirit? The Nine of Cups. Baby, Blessings. I'm talking to you. I'm telling you. You connect with your ancestors, your ancient ancestors, your spirit guides. You got nothing but blessings. Start sitting with them. Someone really need to do fucking yoga. I didn't say be a yoga instructor, but y'all having trouble concentrating when you meditate. Do yoga. Do those stretches in the morning. You got to release that energy because your body's hurting. That energy don't have no place to go. It's called spiritual growth pains. You have to stretch and do it and then next thing you know it you're losing weight also it will help you lose weight it will help you lower your blood pressure it will help with your health general and it will also help with your chakras and you have an open channel to the divine to the angels once again angels like to be sung to what other messages do you have under the star card you have the tower and you have the chariot new direction Going forward, getting re a new attitude, new look on life, new spiritual journey. You step into your power. You said, fuck this shit. You didn't like me in the other in, in the beginning, so fuck you. I'm going to show you how a bitch can be. Spirit said, be that bitch. Be that motherfucker. Be that Monica. You know what I'm saying? Monica, be that person. You're going through a whole new vibration and chain. Give them something to talk about. They fucking with you. Fuck with them back. I say, oh, motherfucker, you want trouble? Come on, posse. Come on, ancestors. Let's fuck them up because I'm tired. I didn't do shit to you, so fuck you. You about to learn the day. Spirit is saying you got to tell them you about to learn the day. You about to go night-night. So you have to start fighting back and understand you got a powerful team that's fucking with you. Be unique. Be who you are. Get these motherfuckers off your back because I'm telling you they fucked up. They fucked with the wrong one. You know? They listening to these trickster spirits that's telling them, it's imitating them because they're not taking the time to identify them. They're not taking the time to know which spirit is right and which spirit is not. And it's getting them fucked up because they are spiritual bully. They're getting that ego and they're about to get fucked up. So you're getting a positive tower moment. You're getting remade. You're starting to become one, that holy trinity with your team. And you're walking into your power, your divinity. You being that high priestess, that high priest, that bruja, that empress, that sage, that mag. Y'all being all that. Y'all going places. Someone is going to start traveling. Traveling, going to spirit, spiritual uh, seminars, traveling as business, as being a motivational speaker, talking about how you overcame this and overcame that. A lot of y'all are going to be traveling to uh, a Caribbean island, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. Um, everybody want to go to Jamaica. Spirit is saying Jamaica's cool, but also you have St. Croix, you have St. Thomas, you have the Virgin Islands, you have Bahamas, you have Trinidad, you have Antigua, 
Everybody want to go to fucking Jamaica. Your ancestors wasn't just in Jamaica. Y'all have to venture out. Jamaica's cool. No problem. I've been there five times. I love it. But Spirit said everybody wants to go to Jamaica. Spirit is saying go to St. Croix, St. Th Thomas, the Virgin Islands, Antigua, Hawaii. Go to different places, not just Jamaica, because you're going to miss your blessings. Some other blessings is on another Caribbean island. Someone is wants to go horseback riding down the water. Some of y'all need to go to Key West. I'm here in Key West. That's the bottom of the coast. Is there anything else, Spirit? Ay. What other messages do you have? I'm hearing someone really needs to go to St. Thomas. St. Thomas, and y'all talking about Jamaica. No, no, no. You need to go to St. Thomas. Y'all need to stop going to Jamaica all the time. Some of y'all missing y'all blessings because it's not meant for y'all to go to Jamaica. Every time someone thinks of Jamaica, they think that's the only Caribbean island. No, it's not, man. I'm telling you. Go to another island. Some of y'all are Geechee. Some of y'all can go to Gola Gola. Some of y'all can go there. It's not always Jamaica, man. And I don't have nothing against Jamaica. But there's other Caribbean islands. That's what they're telling me. What are the messages? Some of y'all going to have a meeting in the bedroom. Because your kudalini is about to rise. If y'all starting to feel like extra horny, like, damn, why do I feel like I want to bust a nut? It's because your kudalini is rising. It's going to happen. That, that filling up to the back of your spine. If you notice that pharaohs and queens of Egypt, they had a snake that was over their head that represent the kudalini. The snake represent wisdom and knowledge. Also, the snake can be evil too. It depends. A lot of y'all really need to go back to school. I'm hearing school. That's how you're going to make y'all money, money, money. Some of y'all need to, um, are into, if you know anybody that's in a radio station into advertising and you have your business spirits and that's another way to promote your business, go in there or write them and you might have to give them a little money or a little incentive for them to promote your business, to talk about your business. You might have to give free samples out to promote your business, but don't overdo it. Some of y'all are going to have international wealth. Y'all going to be traveling international, international people, not just Jamaica, man. I'm talking about there's people in Israel that wants to do it. There's people in Iraq, Iran, not Iran, Iran is going to work with you. All of them are not bad. Everybody have bad eggs in their culture. A lot of y'all going to be meeting uh, Indians on a reservation. Not all of them live on a reservation. And y'all going to find out that, you know what? Y'all got the same DNA that y'all connected. A lot of y'all going to be meeting, y'all going to be doing... Uh, El Segundo, I'm hearing. You're going to be doing uh, stuff from El Segundo. That's the border near California. A lot of y'all going to be meeting a lot of Haitians, and y'all going to be doing trade there. Those who's interested in getting sea moss and stuff, you don't always have to connect with the Jamaicans, man. And I don't have nothing about Jamaicans. I keep hearing St. Croix, St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands. Somebody is going to um, fuck with the Filipinos, man. The Filipinos have Spanish last name, but Filipinos is the black. They consider black of their country. And y'all going to start doing international stuff with them. They spiritual too. A lot of y'all wants to give up. Spirit is saying don't give up. A lot of y'all going to be doing, it's not international, but it's you still got to fly to get there. Y'all going to be doing a lot of stuff in Hawaii and Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a very spiritual island, too. What are the messages? It's not international, but people want to consider it international. I don't know why, but it's not. Somebody's going to meet someone from the land down under. And it's going to be a spiritual mentor for y'all. Tower moment twice. Y'all going through a transformation.
That's what I'm hearing. A powerful transformation. A land down under. They're going to like, how you doing, mate? It's like y'all going to have that spiritual connection. You got to understand, you can't, when spirituality, you can't go by color. Because you, your soulmate can be any nationality, any color. So y'all have to really stop looking in color. Like I said, the first man and woman was dark of African descent. There's no white dirt. There's white sand. And we were made of dirt. There's red dirt and there's dark dirt, brown, black dirt. The first man and woman was created out of dirt. So they were our color. Your soulmate don't have to be of this color. This is just an avatar. Remember, we have so many past lives. Look at person in the eye. That's the gateway to the soul. Be able to scan them. You will know if this person is evil and this person is not. You really have to connect with your ancestors. Some of your ancestors is Irish. Some of your ancestors are Vikings. Some of your ancestors are black. Some of your ancestors are Egyptian. Some of your ancestors are from Spain. Some of your ancestors is from Aborigines. Some of your ancestors are or indigenous people, native people. Don't be fools because you think of this. Africa spirituality is all over in all cultures and nationality. Some people refuse to see it. Some don't. Y'all be blessed. Namaste. Please support my small business. Check out my website. Get a private reading for me. If this resonated with you, Ashe. If it did not resonate with you, Ashe. Namaste.